Morning folks and welcome back. This video is all about hot chocolate. So I've brought a whole load with me to try out and make a comparison out in the woods here this morning. Um, there are loads available uh, to buy from, from supermarkets and whatnot, you know, instant hot chocolates that, that come in sachets, really convenient for, for backpacking trips and what have you. Um, and they just uh, mix up with, with hot water. So they're, they're really handy. I've brought my biggest kettle with me. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just waiting for that to boil, uh, and then we'll we'll take a look at the, the hot chocolates I've bought. I've tried to bring a variety of different brands of hot chocolate with me, um, some of which have been sent to me. Um, as kind gifts from subscribers from around the world um, and some of which I've, I've bought from, uh, from supermarkets. Um, so the first four are readily available in the UK um, from Tesco's or wherever you shop, you know. Um, we've got a couple from Cadbury's, just their normal Cadbury's hot chocolate. Um, we've got a Cadbury's Whisper hot chocolate. I've got a Galaxy hot chocolate powder and lastly an Options um, hot chocolate. This is a kind of like a well, a diet one, really. It's, it's uh, kind of like a low calorie hot chocolate. And then I've got a couple of military hot chocolates. Um, the first one here is from the British Army 24 hour ration pack or operational ration pack. Um, this comes in three different flavors. The, the regular that I've got here, um, mint and orange. I've just got the regular here for this, for this um, tryout. And I've got um, a US MRE uh, cocoa powder. Um, get it the right way up, Simon. No, it was the right way up. <laughs> yeah, just, um, yeah, instant cocoa. The next three are Scandinavian. Um, you'll know about my love affair with Oh Boy Hot Chocolate. And I've got two from Norway. Uh, this regular one I've, I've had before, that's really nice. It's almost on a par with Oh Boy, I think. Very similar. And uh, this Toro one, um, I haven't tried yet. So uh, this will be the first time trying this one. Then I've got two from North America. Um, this Land Lakes one here is from the United States. And this Turtles, which is a, a Nestle hot chocolate, is from Canada, recently sent to me. And then finally, I've got this Deluxe hot chocolate from Grounded. Uh, they're a Dorset-based uh, coffee roasters. And um, this was sent to me by Mr. Fox Fine Foods. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So this will be my first tasting. Um, I know it's not in a convenient little package, but being in a tin, it is the sort of thing you could take, take away camping with you. And unlike the, um, the other sachets, it's not a powder. It's just literally um, little pellets of chocolate and you dissolve them in uh, milk normally. Um, but I've got a way around that so that you can use this uh, when you're camping as well. Right, the water is boiled. Um, I've got one cup spare here, which I'm just going to use for measuring. Um, some of these cups have lines in them to, to show you the measurements, others don't. Some of them I use a lot, like these kind of uh, folding cups here, so I know um, where I need to fill those ones up to. But I've got that for the ones that I don't, if that makes sense. <laughs> so let's start off with Whisper. I'll pull that one into this cup here. I'm just going to put the wrapper underneath it so I remember which one is which. Most of these hot chocolates I found take the same amount of water, which is um, 200 milliliters regia. Oh, I probably shouldn't have put that in the Swedish cup, should I? <laughs> that should have had oh boy in it. Oops. I'll put that one in the. Uh, Green cup there. Options. We'll go in that metal cup there. We've got the British Army one, which I'll do in the British Army cup because it's got the measurements on it for the right amount of uh, water. This is the biggest one. This, this makes 500 milliliters. Turtles. blue one there. The options is the only one that doesn't actually say how much to mix it with. It just says fill your favorite cup <laughs> or mug, but I'm just going to go 200. Mm. 
well they're all looking pretty similar actually this Toro one is looking a bit darker than the others the others look a lot milkier options looks watery <laughs> as I expected it might And then the last one I'll make up in the measuring cup. I don't know how much to add. About that much maybe. Now like I said you're supposed to mix this with milk um, to give it that nice milk chocolate flavor. So what I've done is I've just brought along some uh, instant skim milk powder and I'm just going to mix some of that in with it now to hopefully give it that, that creaminess. Right then, let's, let's try them. I've got the, the Whisper one first, the Cas Cadbury's Whisper. Yeah, that's quite nice, it's sweet. It's not overly strong. It's a little bit watery, I'd say. Um, yeah, let's try the normal Cadbury's one as a comparison. That's definitely richer. Yeah, I definitely prefer the, the normal Cadbury's one to the Whisper one. The Whisper one tastes a little bit, a little bit light, a little bit watery. Let's try the Galaxy. Mm. Oh, that's definitely creamier. And sort of smoother. Less, less chocolatey, I'd say, and more, I don't know, creamy. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's try the other British supermarket one. Options, the kind of low calorie hot chocolate. Yeah, not so sure about that one. Let's try the Scandinavian ones. So this is the Regia Norwegian hot chocolate. Yeah, that's just on another level. That really is. It's rich, it's sweet. It's creamy. It's everything you want in a hot chocolate, I think. Mm. Yum. Good old oh boy. There's actually not a lot between them, you know, between those two. I've thought that before. Yeah, rich and creamy, lovely. Right, the next one is the one I haven't tried. This is the, the Toro Reti Koppen. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. That's really sweet. Mm. Very nice, that's really hard to decide between those three actually. Let's try the regular one again. Yeah, definitely sweeter, but that one's richer and creamier. <laughs> I don't know how people do these taste tests all the time, you know, it's really hard. Right. I'm gonna go on to the North American ones now. So first up is the uh, Land Lakes Co.
Cocoa Classics, Chocolate Supreme Hot Cocoa Mix. Oh, that's pretty nice as well. Mm. First time trying that one. Yep, very nice. Very chocolatey. This is the Canadian Turtles, the Nestle Turtles hot chocolate. Oh wow. That's got a caramel flavour to it. That's lovely. I'm really starting to feel that sugar coursing through my veins. <laughs> Right, this one is the uh, American Ration Pack MRE um, Hot Cocoa. Oh, that's really rich. Really rich, really sweet. I kind of expected that. The, um, the military ones gen generally are, they're fortified with loads more sugar than you would normally get. Um, you know, in a supermarket bought bought one. Um, well, just to get the um, calorie intake up, I guess. And this is the, the British one, which makes a full half liter. Yeah, that's really good. Really chocolatey, really rich, really sweet. Um, before I came across uh, the Swedish and Norwegian uh, hot chocolates, this was always my go-to. Um, you know, I used to look out for them online. You can sometimes just buy the hot chocolate uh, mixes online on um, on eBay, places like that. People sell them, and um, I used to buy them up because <laughs> they're because they're good and they're sweet and they keep you going. They're a good boost when you need it on a cold, damp, cold day. Yeah, nothing beats a, a rich, sweet hot chocolate. Mm. And then finally, I've got the grounded hot chocolate. The one out of the can with the uh, milk powder. Cool. Wow. That's much more like dark chocolate. Maybe I didn't have enough enough milk in it, but it's nice. It's a bit like um, Bourneville chocolate, if you if you like that. It's got a different texture as well. I guess because it is literally just melted chocolate rather than powder. Mmm, decision time. I think of the British ones, the original Cadbury's hot chocolate is my winner. For sure, I preferred that one the most. Of the Scandinavian ones, really, really hard to choose. But I think, and I can't believe I'm saying it, but I think the Regia one is the winner for me. Yeah, that's just lovely. Of the North American ones, I'm gonna go with the Canadian Turtles because I really like that kind of caramel. Caramelly flavor. Yeah, that's lovely. And of the military ones, the British 24 hour ration pack wins for me. It is proper rich and sweet and it makes a half liter, which I like. You get a lot more hot chocolate for your money. The grounded hot chocolate from Devon is also delicious, uh, but I'd say it's more a hot chocolate for at home. It deserves to have full fat milk in it, and unless you're taking it with you, it's gonna be difficult to do. Didn't really work so well with the, uh, with the skimmed milk powder, um, and you've gotta take that, that big tin with you. So um, I would say, as a backpacking, um, hot chocolate. This one doesn't quite fit the bill, although it is very nice. So there you have it, my top hot chocolates for camping and backpacking trips. And I think the only way you can improve on a hot chocolate is with a little drop of your favorite tipple. Mm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.